In today's video, I'm going to take just a quick look at gold, and then I want to um, focus mostly on the commodity complex. So I, I warned people that, that there would be an attack on options expiration, that is um, options expiration on gold itself is today, and uh, we are getting that attack here. So uh, my suggestion um, early this morning was to go ahead and, and take, we had some small profits uh, on our mining trade, was to go ahead and, and take those profits and then wait and see how this attack evolves. Uh, if it just turns out to be a one-day attack and then re gold recovers, then um, great, we're back in and we're, um, you know, we will continue to expect an intermediate decline. What I don't want to see is uh, follow through to the downside and for gold to break back below the 200-day moving average. If that happens, then we'll stay on the sidelines uh, until um, the action improves. Um, just on the, the small chance, um, I don't think it's a, a, a great chance, but the, there is a small chance that we could left translate another, another cycle. So that's, uh, that would be what a move back below the 200-day moving average would, um, would just keep me on the sidelines for a little longer. But now what I really want to look at is the uh, um, commodity complex in general. And uh, let me switch this to the weekly and then expand this chart. All right. So uh, I've shown this many, many times in the past. This was the end of the last commodity bull market. We had our classic, you know, parabolic uh, bubble and then the, the, the crash off the top of the bubble. Um, we've been in a bear market ever since uh, until 2020. And that, that was when oil went negative for a few days. That was the bell ringing that the uh, bear market in commodities was over. We were starting a new long-term bull market. Um, and now we're, 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 you know, obviously we're still in a secular bull market, but we are getting late in this three-year cycle. And the, the last couple cycles, um, this this was one here, this was the beginning of one here. The, both of these cycles ran a bit long. So there's potential for this one to run a little short. A normal timing band would be somewhere around uh, spring of 23, maybe into the summer of 23. But you can see here, we've um, the commodities in general have rallied very aggressively. Um, and now we're a little over two years into this three-year cycle. So we're starting to get a little bit mature. Everybody at this point has, is on the, the train. They, they, you know, everybody is convinced that uh, commodities are the place to be and they're going to continue to outperform and you want to be long commodities. And, I, you know, in a general sense for the next five to eight, nine years, something like that, that is correct. But there's going to be um, corrections along the way, and there'll be a big one here at some point um, when the, the commodity, the CRB, moves down into that three-year cycle low. And what I'm suggesting is that now that everybody's on one side of the boat here, we've got to be a little bit careful that we don't get caught in that uh, three-year cycle decline uh, when it starts. Now, I'm not suggesting that it's ready to start right here um, you know it could but I, I'm kind of thinking the more more likely scenario would be for this sideways churn that it's been in here to um, um, manifest as one more leg up maybe not a huge leg up but but one more push higher and maybe I don't know maybe we can test this resistance zone here, or maybe test this three-year cycle uh, top here. Um, and, and then we start down into our um, three-year cycle low, some, something that's going to shrink a lot of this stretch above this 200-week moving average. This, this, this makes me nervous. When, whenever I see anything stretching too far above a long-term moving average, I start to get nervous. And uh, we're seeing the result of that in the stock market right now. St stocks with uh, QE just stretched um, ridiculously far above their 200-week moving average. And now we're, we're in a, a very um, 
destructive corrective move to, to reel in some of that um, um, enthusiasm. Um, I think same thing's going to happen in commodities here at some point. Uh, at some point, this three-year cycle is going to top, and then we're going to we're going to get a sharp uh, correction. That's going to you know there's a very good chance it could even come all the way back down and test this 200-week moving average uh, before we start the next leg up in the commodity bull market. So um, something to be aware of here. This this would probably uh, um, coincide with uh, gold moving down into its eight-year cycle low. But as I said, I, I'm kind of expecting, it's it's late in the cycle, I'm kind of expecting an intermediate decline in the dollar. If that unfolds, <clears throat> then we should get, um, you know, we should get one more rally in, in the commodity complex, probably another rally in gold that, you know, I, I would think it would at least test those all-time highs at, at about 2090. And, and we might, as I've explained in some of my previous videos, if we can get there quickly, then we might um, have a chance to break out and, and get a nice rally that could maybe even take gold up uh, anywhere from 2200 to maybe 2500 And then at that point, then we would maybe move back down into the um, eight-year cycle low, which would maybe be a move back from 2500 back down to 2000 or or 1900 or something like that. And that would be a big scary move, would probably qualify as a eight year cycle low. But um, just just to be aware, everybody's on the same side of the boat here. Um, everybody is, has now become convinced that commodities can only go up and we're getting mature in this three year cycle. So this is the, the point at which you've got to be, um, start to get a little cautious with commodities. And if, and if we do get one more move up, I think you, you probably better bank on that being the last move higher in this, um, in, in this three-year cycle for commodities. And then at that point, you need to get on the sidelines and wait for that move down into the three-year cycle low. And I, I would expect that that would correspond with the dollar finally breaking out above that triple top that we saw and you know going somewhere you know, it could go as high as 110 or 120. And, uh, and that would, um, I think that would drive the CRB down into that corrective move uh, into that three year cycle low, shrink a lot of this stretch above the 200 week moving average. And then that, and then that would set up our, our next leg up in the commodity bull market. All right, so just something to be aware of. It's getting late in this three-year cycle. You need to start getting a little com cautious with commodities. And, uh, and now's the time where maybe you don't need to go to the other side of the boat immediately. But I would say if, if we do get another leg higher, then you absolutely have to get on the other side of the boat and, uh, and um, take your profits and be happy with them and then wait for the three-year cycle low in the commodity complex to play out before you uh, play the commodities again.